Are you guys ready for this? Oh. I feel like it should have like rays shining all over. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amy, if you are new. If you saw the title of this, I am giving you a tour of my little skincare fridge. Extra, absolutely. Necessary, maybe not. So I'm gonna give you a tour of what I keep inside my mini fridge. But first, I did wanna say a huge shout out to the Glossary over on Instagram for inspiring this purchase, as well as the stickers and the color. They are one of my favorite like skincare beauty accounts. So I will have them linked below. So go ahead and show them some love because if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have this actually. So I'm absolutely obsessed with skincare. And usually what I would do is just put some skincare items in my actual like food fridge downstairs I have like an upstairs downstairs so I would actually keep them downstairs but as you can imagine being a lazy ass <laughs> I would hardly go down there to actually use the product so they would go to waste unfortunately so this is absolutely genius because I just keep it right here bedside but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the skincare fridge tour never thought I'd be doing this on YouTube but you know oh I feel like it should have like rays shining all over the place. Okay, so this really comes in clutch in the summertime. As you can see, I am glistening, I am sweaty. It is like 100 degrees in LA and it allows me to feel very cool when I put them on and apply the mask and all the stuff that's in here on my face. So it's super genius for summertime in particular. A jade roller. Jade is already very cool to the touch. It's a naturally cool stone, but when you put it in the fridge, it just amplifies. And I really love this to depuff my face. I get super puffy in the mornings, like my lips are puffy, my eyes are puffy, everything is super puffy. So this feels so amazing and it just helps me depuff, like I said. Sometimes I'll grab it at night and just like roll it before I go to bed. Feels really, really nice. I have a whole video about this. If you guys wanna see that, I'll have it linked below. But a really good idea to include this in your fridge if you end up getting a little mini fridge as well. The other things that I like to keep in here are, like I said, I get really puffy in the morning. Eye patches, I have these guys by Peter Thomas Roth. These are the 24K gold, I really love these and they already, you know, depuff on their own, but when it's in the fridge, it just like makes it all the better, like I said, just like everything else. These are great. I love eye patches in general. I pretty much use them every day, almost every day. Yeah, I would say almost every day. So I also have other patches in here. I know this looks so gross. I kept aloe vera in here and like all of the saliva. I don't, I feel weird calling it saliva, but you know, la baba. <laughs> That's the same thing. It kind of leaked out of the saran wrap and it got all over some stuff. Aloe vera I love to keep in here, but I, I didn't seal it up right, so it got annoying. But I have some other eye patches. These are by Petrology, which I like as well. And then these ones are by e.l.f. It's a great affordable, budget-friendly one. They're just the hydro gels. I'll have everything linked in the description box. And then I also have these guys by Tatcha. I think out of all of them, the Tatcha ones are the most hydrating, I want to say. Like the other ones do an incredible job at depuffing. This one depuffs, but also like it actually feels very moisturized. So I really love the Tatcha ones as well. And then this was just like in the mix of all that. So it's the KNC Collagen Lip Mask. I don't really use these as much as the eye patches, but you know, it feels soothing on my lips I guess. So the other thing that I keep in here is the Lotus Eye Gel. This is by Fresh. This is 10 times better. Like I already love it as is like without being in the fridge but it is 10 times better in the fridge. It feels like it depuffs. It feels just so cooling because it is a gel. It actually gets pretty damn cold so it feels amazing and it's already cooling like I said because it does have that cucumber extract so you can just imagine how amazing it feels on the skin. This is a really nice one to keep in the fridge. Another thing that I like to use now a little bit more that I keep in the fridge is the Ren Evercom Global Protection Day Cream. So this is just like a moisturizer basically, but it does help against pollutants and then like the environment. So it feels really cooling when I apply it, especially like I said, in the heat of the summer upstairs in my room. It feels really, really nice. And sometimes I'll just like put a little bit on my neck and stuff as I'm like going to sleep super sweaty and hot. I have air, believe it or not, but it like still does not get that cold upstairs. So, um, 
yeah, this I really like. This is the Ren Evercom Ultra Comforting Rescue Mask. <gasps> I love this. I love to use this after I exfoliate or I've been out in the sun. Just anytime my skin needs to be soothed and like I feel like I need to rebuild the skin's barrier, like I've been putting it through too much, whether it be environmental or through like my AHAs, BHAs kind of exfoliants. And again, the same idea of it feeling all the more calming and soothing and cooling on my skin while, you know, while it's in the fridge. So I love this guy. It's really great for sensitive skin, you guys. I would highly recommend this mask. For sure. So let's go ahead and finish up with the other masks. The other one that's very similar in terms of it being calming and soothing and very hydrating. I forgot to mention how hydrating that Evercom one is. This one also is very, very hydrating. So this is the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. Again, it has like that very cooling sensation on its own, but when you put it in the fridge, it just amplifies it so it feels so, so amazing. I feel like I'm being super redundant and repetitive here, but as you can see, I kind of keep similar products in the fridge. One of my favorite masks for sure, and I'll apply this in the nighttime and even leave it on overnight. In the morning, I'm left with like such hydrated skin, and it almost has like this glowy feel once I like rinse everything off in the shower, and you can use this every day if you wanted to because it's so gentle and it doesn't irritate your skin or anything like that. Other one that I really like in the summertime has been this guy. So this is the Peter Thomas Raw. This is called the Cucumber Gel Mask Extreme Detox Hydrator. I really love to use this after being out in the sun or when I feel like my skin is looking super dehydrated. I used this when I was like hungover. It just, it's so nice. And it's again, calming on its own. Don't you wanna just like dip your whole body in here? I do. I know, it is way too damn hot. It feels so good. So the last little items that I have in here, I have two sprays. So I have the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus Spray, this in the fridge, you guys. It's a dream. Oh, it feels so good. When I'm home, I don't know how many times a day I actually go to the fridge just to pull this out because it feels so freaking amazing. There's some that just have rose, but this one does have the coconut, so I feel like it's even more hydrating. And then I also have this guy which is so great. Like I usually use this before I go to the gym. I go to the gym like without showering or anything, but I need to like wake up. So I like to use this. This is the Ledoux Aloe Facial Refresher Mist. I love aloe. I feel like, again, it's very calming. I'm a huge, huge fan of aloe vera. I feel like it is a miracle plant. And then the last little things that I have in here. Oh, I have another ID puffer. I have the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. This is just like an eye serum. So what's really great about this being in the fridge is because it has like these little metal balls that you just roll along your under eyes and it's supposed to depuff but it de also deposits the serum so it feels really cooling on the skin again it does a better job I feel like I like this a lot more in the fridge I didn't feel like it did much on its own but now in the fridge I like to use it because the metal gets super super cold and it does actually depuff my eyes now and the serum's all right I like to keep vitamin C anything with vitamin C in the fridge because vitamin C is very like unstable. It is very sensitive to light, to temperature. It should be packaged a certain way, so I just like to keep it in the fridge. This is the La Roche-Posay Active C10. I actually got this when I was in Mexico City. So this one is actually made in France, which I like. I don't know, I just trust when they're made in France over the US. So I do like to keep that in there just so it can stay fresher, longer, since vitamin C does tend to go rancid a little bit quicker, especially if it's not packaged um, like super tight. Like I think Drunk Elephant does a really good job of packaging their serum, their vitamin C serum. This one's pretty good too because it's all in the tube. So that's that one. And then I also have this vitamin C one that I don't really use that often, but because I don't use it that often, I like to keep it in there to preserve it a little bit longer. This is the Glow Skin Beauty Daily Power C Plus Ultimate Age Defying Antioxidant Serum. And then the last thing I forgot, I wish I could keep more sheet masks in here because it feels really good in the summer as well, but I do have one because I thought it was super fitting. It's a milk carton in the fridge, and it's pink, and it's super cute. So I keep that in there, mainly for decoration, <laughs> let's be honest. So that is everything that I have currently in my skincare fridge. I will be switching things out, and maybe if I like buy stuff from Lush. I feel like if you are an avid Lush buyer, consumer, <laughs> Uh, especially those ones that obviously you have to refrigerate. It's such a good idea to keep them upstairs in your room and something like this. I feel like you're more prone to use it because I know 
I've had to throw away a lot of those Lush products, unfortunately, because I forget about them in my fridge. So aloe vera can also be something really amazing to stick in your fridge because you're going to be more likely to use it and apply it consistently so you can really see like those acne scars or any kind of scars start disappearing, lightening healing anything really like natural like say if you make your own kind of masks you can like put that in there so I think this one's a pretty good idea I wish it got like colder and that it held a little bit more but for right now I'm super happy with this and yeah like I said I'll have everything linked below thank you so much for watching and also if you haven't seen my medicine cabinet like all the skincare that I keep I have two medicine cabinets actually yeah that video is pretty extra but I will have that linked below in case you haven't watched it yet and you want to see other skincare items that I keep in stock in my arsenal of things <laughs> thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys